The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Ian Utabi here, and today we're going to look at the Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret ATV from Hasbro Pulse. I got two of these, so excited to take a look at it. I never had this as a kid, so it's pretty cool. I like getting all the vehicles uh, that come out classified. So before we get started with this, if you're watching this and you enjoy G.I. Joe classified content, Star Wars, AWOC, Transformers, Mode 2, third party Transformers, anything like that. Go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Think about becoming a member. It goes to help the channel. So, yeah, yeah, a DeFerrit, never had it. Uh, I don't know, just never had it as a kid. But once they announced one of these on Classified, yes, I had to get two. I, I did miss out on the pre-order for Wreckage and the, the Tiger Force version. Uh, and that was, man, that thing went up and I had no chance. So, I mean, I, I think it'll be easy to get once it gets closer to release, because you know how the Tiger Force stuff does. But uh, that did not go the way I thought it should have went. But uh, hopefully they'll fix that in the future. But here we go. We got two ferrets, two drivers, uh, clear window here. I, I like when they do this. This is such a nod to the old school uh, way of doing stuff. So very cool like that. We've got Temple in the background, Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret ATV right here. Number 119. Top, got the Cobra Emblem. Got the artwork on here on the side. She doesn't come with much. I I, I wish it would come with a little bit more. 5.9 inches tall, comes with two pistols, a knife, and a helmet. And uh, I think it's kind of based on the Valkyrie body. And there is the Cobra Ferret showing some things to stick out in this. I was going to actually 3D print one of these. I got the file. Uh, I don't even know where I got bought the file. I think I got it from Mark II Designs, maybe. Yeah, that sounds right, but and I never did print it. And once they announced these, I was like, "Well, let me just see what they got." And this this looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like maybe is maybe the wheels, but we'll we'll take a look at it. Anyway, that's it for the packaging. Let's open it up, take a look at everything it comes with. All right, comes with directions. Here you can see how to plug all the accessories in. Uh, even shows you the wheels. They're directional, and supposed to go a certain way, so that's cool. Didn't take much, and then just shows the helmet going over the head, which is cool. Got your figure here in the separate tray. You got the, the body here, uh, and then the wheels and accessory bag that comes in the, the crates, um, like this Cobra Ferret Scout and Cobra Ferret AT 119. And man, I thought they kind of got away from this. Um, uh, I feel like they will at some point, but uh, there you go. And that's the way that looks right there, directly out of packaging. All right, I'm going to put it together. We'll come back, take a look at the figure, accessories, and the vehicle itself. All right, got it assembled, and let's go over uh, a few things. So, I think it looks good. It seems rather large. <laughs> it seems a little big, actually. Um, the gun here seems slightly, slightly bent, but not too bad. Uh, the gun articulates, got some nice detail. It's got a little thing on there for effect, so that looks good. Front cannon here articulates up. It's got little things right there for effects. Got some nice tampos on there. No step, XO2, ATV, Semper Fidel Serpens. Uh, got seat molding in there. Luggage rack mounted on there, secure cover. Then we got quad, a dual exhaust. And it's got little pegs in there too, which... I think you can plug in some effects there. Um, man, do I have a smoke effect handy in my pile of junk over here? Let me look here. Let me look. Let me see. Why are we doing this on on camera? Do I do I have anything? I'm gonna probably say no. Isn't that always the case when you want something you don't have it handy? Oh well. Anyway, uh, yeah, two two ports there. The cool thing though, look. I mean, this has got. Spring suspension. That's neat. Got tail lights right there. We've got uh, missile launch information for operating this vehicle's advanced weapon system B 
be sure to pledge loyalty to Cobra. Refer to HUD display for launching instructions. And then you got a little display right there. So, yeah, no step. The wheels got the directional. They turn fine. It rolls fine. Got Cobra XP 1000. Uh, so, yeah, it's just actually pretty awesome. Uh, and you don't have to put the, the rockets on the side right there. You got luggage rack, man. You could probably, you know, eventually uh, put some backpacks or something like that on there. This will turn like that. The wheels do not turn. I mean, I get it. That's probably that's probably a minor nitpick to me because um, the suspension moves up and down like that. would have been kind of nice if they did turn, but uh, they do not. You got a winch here. I wish it worked. You got a hook, uh, but no actual um, cable or anything. So that's probably one thing I think would have been nice to have on there. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool, man. So let's let's bring in the figure here. So here's the ferret driver. Love the gray uniform with the blue uh, female body. Like I said, it's got this kind of uh, ATV four-wheeler vest on. I'm, like, remember Fox? I used to have motorcycles, and I used to drive, you know, four-wheelers, Banshee, Warriors, stuff like that. Never People would buy these things. I never bought one. I had plenty of wrecks. Didn't die, so I made it. Um but yeah, got the Cobra emblem on there. Looks good. Got the blue kind of texture to the thing. I like this figure. I think this figure looks good. Now, the cool thing is you got a helmet here. And apparently you can just slide it over like that. And there's your helmet. Helmet looks really good because it's got Cobra fangs on it. So that is that is kind of awesome. She doesn't come with much. So I will say that is an, a minor negative nitpick to me. Uh, she does have weapon storage for everything. So you can take her knife. It's all black plastic. Right there, no paint on that sucker. And then we've got two pistols uh, that look like G26 Glocks. Uh, to be honest with you, if I had to say anything, uh, which I hate those super compact ones, but that is exactly what that looks like. Plugs in right there. Got another one right here. And there you go. So pretty cool figure, pretty cool set. Uh, you know, price is always questionable. These things, some people say the price is a little too high. Sometimes it's it's, it's about right. I think it's fair. Uh, I got three mags here on the back, molded into the thing. Articulation with a helmet. She can look down pretty good. She can look up really good. This is butterfly bicep rotation, double elbows, wrist. Got a waist and ab crunch. Nice ab crunch. Waist rotation, leg up. Leg outside, leg back, thigh cut, drop down hips, double knees. Feels good in hand. Do we have a boot? Rotation, yes, and then rockers. So everything that is standard with Joe's. Uh, and the cool thing is you can actually slide the helmet over. I bought two of these because one is going to run with the Zamot and Tomax. And the other one I'm going to keep with uh, the driver here. I may end up getting another one at some point because I will admit this is actually better than what I thought. Biggest nitpick here, uh, you see you got a slightly upturn here on the gun. It's not that bad, but really need to get away from these plastics. I'm hoping uh, they'll get a little bit sturdy. I would Effects would have been nice too, because we've got all this going on here. We've got ports for, you know, Ford Cannon, the big cannon, and then we actually got effects on the back right here. So that, that right there, I'm going to have to test something. We're going to come back. Let's take a look at this. All right, yep. So the little smoke effect that comes with the Vipers, you could have like the exhaust smoking, but this is where they should have done some specialized effects, you know, like cloud of smoke coming out the back. Uh, these are just the, I think the Viper effects right there. So you can have fire shooting out the back of that one, but there's some options. I knew you could do that, I thought. And then you got the, the cannon one here, so you can have it firing off to the side. So pretty neat. Very cool. I'm glad I got this. You know, sometimes the vehicles, you know, don't always, I'm not going to say they don't always live up to them because I've been pretty happy with everything they've done. But this was one where I was like, I don't know. It's, it's a four wheeler. It's, I don't know. I, I wasn't a hundred percent sure on this one. The vamp, loved the vamp as a kid. Never had this as a kid. So I was like, yeah, 
But open it up, fill in, the, fill in the plastic here. Here's the bottom of it. It is not pretty on the bottom. You got a lot of hollowness here. But honestly, I, that doesn't really bother me at all. Uh, there's some weight into it. So it feels solid. It's not light plastic. So I can, I can definitely tell you the, the plastic quality is there. But yeah, overall good. Got a little mold in here, silver for headlight. Uh, yeah, overall is it worth getting? Yeah, I would get at least two. If you're buying this, you haven't bought it, I recommend purchasing this very much, especially if you're collecting the GI Joe classified line and vehicles. Uh, I mean, this just works. It's a four-wheeler. It's got guns. What else could you ask for? All right. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you're interested in becoming a member, go down to the link below in the description. Click it for a dollar and something a month. You could be a member and help the channel. That goes a long way. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you down the road. Yo, Joe.